Hey, how are you all doing today? Hope everybody had a good day. Um, we had talked about doing this last week, but uh, something came up. Uh, we'll get back to the uh, 3M spray and the removal and the decals and how it affects paint, etc. Uh, I guess next week. Uh, something came up, and I've written about it in magazines. Uh, I've chirped about it on videos, you know, on the DVDs, um, as much as I possibly could. And uh, now it's time, I guess, for a real show and tell. I'll set the preamble in this way. Young man two days ago uh, asks on one of the model car pages about what clear to use. And actually the original premise was what could he use for making uh, metal flake paints. So myself, several other individuals jumped in and we explained to him where he could go, how to do it, and then uh, he asked about what kind of clear to use. Well, naturally, right out of the woodwork comes everybody and their mama uh, screaming and yelling, no, use enamels, that stuff's, that stuff's bad, it yellows. Listen. Yes, it does over ivory and white and some other lighter colors if they are not maintained. I have buddies of mine throughout this hobby that have hundreds if not thousands of builds in showcases throughout their homes. Uh, they will come back to you and they will tell you that some of their paint is yellow because they used to do it. The trick is any clear, any clear is going to yellow if it is not maintained. If you bought a 2017 Cobra Mustang, let it sit outside without touching it. No wax, no polish, no bath finish is going to do the same thing. You have to maintain finishes. And I guess this is show and tell boys and girls. So I'm going to have Jake move in and I'm going to show you paint jobs and I'm going to tell you how old they are. And seeing is believing. Anytime you have any type of clear, I don't care who the manufacturer is, the market, the whole nine yards, you have to maintain it. Give it a little dabble do you with a little bit of wax or a little bit of cleaner, and it'll stay that way forever. So, Jakey, come on in, brother. This paint job is nine years old plus. Um, coated with Tester's Clear Top Coat. Uh, in the manner that I do. Uh, the color is kiln red, which unfortunately, uh, much to my chagrin, is no longer available. Uh, next up. Custom mix of uh, testers enamels with testers clear top coat. Uh, this one I think is probably about, uh, that's about 10 years old. That one is custom flake over top of kiln red with testers clear top coat. That one is 11 years old. Custom mix of testers enamels. That one's called Jamie's Jam. That one's six years old. Custom mix of testers enamels. Clear top coat with Perlex laden clear over top of it. That one is eight years old.
Testers, hmm, what is that? Bright green pearl with a uh, clear top coat over top of it. That one is seven years old. Custom mix, case color again, clear top coat over top of it, uh, seven years old. Boys, lime green pearl with testers clear top coat over top of it, that one's 12 years old. Custom mix of testers enamels with Parallax Laden clear over top of it with testers clear top coat over top of it. Okay, let me see. Two, four, six, eight, nine, and we'll go for ten. We'll go for an even number. This one was painted about four years ago, three or four years ago. Uh, Parallax Laden clear over top of a base coat with clear top coat over top of it. Um, are you starting to get the gist of what I'm talking about here? There is no yellowing whatsoever. None. And these paint jobs are old. The difference being is being that these cars have to go with me to shows. A little, uh, a little maintenance on them, a little wax, a little, uh, you know, novice too, and then a little bit of a wax over top of that. Because, you know, when you got them sitting on a table at a vending show, uh, people are going to talk and spittle's going to fly and you would not believe the mess that they are when they come back from the shows. But they clean up and there is no yellowing whatsoever. So before you jump on that bandwagon or even think it's going to roll downhill for you, you get another thing coming because seeing is believing and I don't think I can make this any clearer than what I have. So before you start jawing at people and telling them this, that, the other thing, make sure you know what the hell you're talking about. And I know that right about now I'm making some people upset, but uh, you know, don't don't stunt other people's growth. Um, you know, this is very simple uh, method to uh, achieve. Um, it's consistent, but um, like I said, uh, you know, it's a viable product. It works well, and um, you know. Whether it be clear lacquer, whether it be clear enamel, um, do they have a legitimate uh, claim that it's amber colored when it comes out of the bottle? Yeah, but the thing of it is, is as I said, as long as you maintain the finish, just like you do on your one to one, you have nothing to worry about. All right, well, I don't know uh, how else to go about it. Um, I hope I proved my point, and I hope that. Uh, the next time that somebody goes to give somebody advice, um, make sure you know what the hell you're talking about. It's the old man from Lone Wolf Custom Painting, and I'm out.